everyone, so today I'm going to be showing you how to look wide awake and just really refreshed and from a bad night's sleep or just looking a little dull here or there. I mean, you know how it is, fall and winter's coming, You're going, your skin's going to be a little off, but this just helps brighten up your skin and make it nice and fresh and beautiful. I'm not saying you're not beautiful already because you are beautiful. Everyone's beautiful. Just, yeah. But whoa, I dyed my hair. Yes, I did. I re-dyed it really actually. Um, I dyed it this exact color right around when my prom video came out and yeah. Uh, I hope you guys like my new hair. I really like it. It was basically the same. This is basically the color of my roots when they are not sun damaged. Like when they are, my hair gets really bleached by the sun really easily and I think I take that after my mom who's a blonde so yeah. But, yeah, I really like my hair this color, but, yeah, let's get on to the video. If you like this look, please keep watching. Okay, so first I'm going to take my moisturizer, Clean Clear Dual Action Moisturizer. I love this moisturizer. It is my favorite moisturizer ever, and, yeah, it just gives me a nice, clean, smooth slate to work with. Now I'm going to take my Too Faced Primed and Poreless Face Primer. I really have been loving this primer. It just really gives me a nice clean surface, clean flat surface to work with. And it helps with any bumps I have. Um, not just acne bumps, but like just bumps in the skin that aren't really fully developed, kind of like clogged pore kind of things. So I'm just going to use this. I've really been liking this. And it helps my makeup not settle like in my eyebrow area, which is really weird. But yeah. I've had a problem where like a ton of color will go into my eyebrows that shouldn't be there and then it looks really cakey like around my eyebrow area. I'm just like, that isn't looking good. To really look wide awake, you're going to want to cancel out any darkness you have under your eyes. I'm going to use Lemonade by Benefit. It's a yellow correcting concealer and this just really helps me. You, I know you're supposed to use salmon or like a pinky, beigey, like peach tone underneath but this really works for me because when I do the peachy like color under my eyes it just looks really off from the rest of my face because I have a beige undertone so I really like this for doing my under eyes. Now for foundation I always like using foundation because it takes like the dullness out of your face and it just really brightens up your face especially when you use a foundation that's a little too light for you which I'm going to be using. I'm using L'Oreal's Magic Nude Liquid Powder Foundation and I am in 316 Nude Beige. I just love this foundation. It feels very light and airy like and it reminds me, like the finish, how it finishes, it reminds me of my Chanel Vita Lumiere Aqua. This is a little hard to work with because it is so runny, so you kind of have to work it in as you apply it. But I really like it and it gives me a good amount of coverage without being too much coverage. I'm just going to dot it kind of on my fingertips. Now I'm going to take MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. It's just in NW20. I love this concealer. It just really is great for highlighting and like really lightening up areas that I need to be lightened. Uh, I'm going to take a foundation brush and apply it under my eyes and on any areas that is a little too dark or has some redness. Okay, now what I would like to do is to set my under eye like concealer and anywhere I put concealer with a kind of a powder that's too light for me. I use the Revlon Color Stay in light or pale. I love this because it just really lightens up the area where I just applied it and it kind of gives a natural highlight to your skin and it makes you really look wide awake and helps just brighten up the areas even more.
Next, I'm going to set the rest of my face with Rimmel Stay Matte. It's just a nice mattifying powder, and it helps just kind of set everything and finish it all off. I'm going to do some light bronzer to my face. You want to do some light bronzer to kind of shape your face so it gets some color to it as well. I'm just going to take Too Faced Chocolate Soleil bronzer and just lightly do it in the contours of my face and all the way around. Now for blush, I'm going to take a very toned blush that's kind of light with some peach mixed in. It's Hervana Blush from, from Benefit and it's really great and just looks super natural and makes it so you have some color on your face and you don't look like you have no makeup on at all. Like it just adds a nice healthy flush to your skin. Now I'm going to take NARS Pro Prime Eyeshadow Primer and prime my eyelids. Uh, they need some priming. And then I'm going to move on to the brows. I like kind of leaving this on my eyes to kind of set a little bit so that it really holds on the shadows all day. Now on the eyebrows. You should always do your eyebrows. It just really opens up your eyes and makes them look so shaped and so much more open that it just makes you look a ton more awake. So I'm just going to take a NYX uh, eyeliner slash lip liner pencil, you know what I mean, uh, but it's X Espresso. Just do one, whichever one that matches your, your eyebrows and just shape them in the natural shape. Don't overdo them because if you overdo them, it can look a little too harsh for your face. Now off to the rest of the eyes. I'm going to take a kind of shimmery light uh, base. I'm going to take Max Let's Skate. It's kind of a shimmery pinky color. Um, I like using light tone bases because they just really help brighten your eye area and just really opens it up and makes it look wide awake. Take Sin from Urban Decay's Naked Palette. It's pretty much the same color as the paint pot and it just really helps set the shadow and I'm only doing it on the inner area, the inner half. Now for the crease, I'm going to just take a really light kind of matte color. It's going to be Buck in the Naked Palette. Um, I just love using just kind of light toned crease colors because it just keeps it the look very light because if you did a dark crease with a light inner corner area it might look a little weird but I'm just going to take the matte brown and work it into the crease area. Now that's all done. I'm going to line my lower like my waterline with a nude eye pencil. Nude eye pencils really help just brighten up that area and take away any redness or darkness like any blues or grays undertones in your skin and it just really opens up your eyes because it just adds a nice light shade there so it just opens up your eyes and it's really amazing. I'm going to take Rimmel Scandalize Eye Cool in 05 Nude. Now curl your lashes. Curling your lashes really open up your eyes and it just... I'm going to take Benefit Their Real Mascara and just do my top lashes. I'm only doing my top lashes, I'm not doing bottom. Because so when you do bottom it kind of accentuates your dark circles if you didn't fully cover them up or you didn't do enough like under eye sh like shadow. Uh, so I'm just going to do the top lashes. Now for the fun part, lips. I love doing my lips. I ha am obsessed over fall lip colors right now. I'm just going to apply Soft Lips Vanilla Lip Balm just to keep my lips nice and soft during the weather changing. Now you can take any kind of lipstick that isn't too light or too dark. You want a happy medium kind of thing. You can do pinks, 
plums, reds. Today I'm going to be doing a plummy kind of red slash brown undertone, I don't know. But it's MAC's lipstick in Capricious, I believe. I just got this yesterday. I really love it. It looks really dark in the tube, but the payoff isn't as much as the tube is, so I'm happy about that. But I really love this, and it just... It's a nice pop without being too much. Now I'm going to take the Urban Decay Lip Junkie in Naked, I believe. Or Naked 2? Naked. It's just Naked. And go over this. This is like a perfect match for this lipstick. It's amazing. And it just adds a nice gloss to it. I just love it. Okay, so that is it. I hope you guys like this. Please let me know if you have any requests, any kind of tutorials you want me to do, any kind of looks, any kind of hairstyles. I am filming a ton of videos though over the next few days because I don't have any work. So yeah, I'm just doing schoolwork and then filming. So pretty much I'm filming a new video every day, but you will see videos every other day pretty much. Uh, hopefully it turns out like that. Don't like make any promises. With, I'm not making any promises, but yeah. So yeah, I hope this helped you guys, and I hope you guys liked it. So yeah, have a great day everyone, and that's it. Okay, bye guys.